Hello everyone, welcome to day number four of the Super United Croatia's Rapid and Blitz. And here, one of the highlights of today is Magnus Carlsen's win over Ian Nepomniachtchi. We all know very well that Magnus declined to defend his world title against Ian. It will be Ian against Ding. But here, Magnus showed who is the best, who is the boss. Yes. Check it out. If a matchup played knight of three, knight of six, g3, c5. Okay. Bishop g2, knight into c6, castles, e5. c4, g5. Queen a4, right. Bishop into d6. d4, what a game. Yeah. It's not, it's so rare to see three points and two points battling it out in the middle of the board, you know. So Magnus went for e takes d4, c takes d5 for e n, takes on d5, knight takes d4, c takes d4, bishop takes d5. This was also a game by Caruana against Nepomniachtchi, right? It was just uh, a repeat of, of that game. So Magnus just castled, bishop takes c6, takes on c6, queen takes d4. As you can see, white gets a pawn, extra pawn after the exchange, yeah? after the series of exchange. But Magnus again has the bishop here. Queen e7 was played previously between Caruana and Epinacci and went on to draw. But Carson has other ideas. He went from bishop h3, right? control of the light squares here. Right, nailing the king on g1. Nepo went for rook e1. He doesn't want to go rook e1 here. Okay. The point being is that if rook e1, Magnus can go bishop e5. You're forced to take on d8. Rook f takes d8 or rook a takes d8. Yes. And even if you take, okay, you have up a pawn, but the problem is rook one. If you go knight d2, I can go bishop takes d2, or I can just play c5 here. Yes. Because rook d1 is going to be made. So Nepo went for rook e1. Magnus play rook to b8, restricting the bishop, okay, threatening b2, knight into c3, queen e7, bishop g5, this queen e6, bishop f4, takes, takes, Magnus gaining back upon, and the control of the second rank. Rook b1, queen f5, Magnus style, yeah? this is typical of Magnus. Simple chess, simplify into an end game. He has a bad pawn structure, but this is actually a bad pawn. So that is also going to give white a pressure. Rook d6, rook c8, here rook c1, king f8. Rook into d4, bishop e6. Equal still, rook a4, Magnus protects a7, protects c6, patience. f3, c5. Right. Pass one must be pushed. King into f2, h5. Uh, there's one small detail in this endgame. White should have played g4 to prevent black to expand with either h5 or f5. Yep. Again, awareness is important whether you play blitz, rapid, or classical. When it comes to compound structure, I think g4 is important. But you cannot fault Nepo for playing the king to f2. I mean, in the end game, you centralize your king, protects e2, it also gives freedom for the knights. Anyway, but Magnus has h5 now, h4, g6. Okay, rook a5, bishop c4, pressure on e2, knight cannot move, rook a4, bishop e6 back, rook a5, king d7. Magnus wants to fight. Knight into b5, rook to d7. Rook takes e5, takes on e2. Okay. Magnus still has this outside pass one. Nepo went for knight c3. Let's take a look at knight a7. Now, this will be misplaced. Yes, Magnus can go rook d2. If you protect with rook e5, the bishop goes to c4 and black is winning. Misplaced knight on a7. And if you capture with a rook, on a7, Magnus has rook takes b5. Yes, be nice. 
So Napo played knight c3, Magnus went back to d6. Okay, black can rely on the outside pass only. And there's also pressure on the d2. So rook a3, rook c2, pin. Continuing the pressure. Knight e4, bishop c4. Knight c3, and white linked. The only way to survive here for white would have been rook e3. But then again, black would just simply play maybe just a move a6 here. It's not so easy. Yeah. Pressure, right, with, with this extra, not extra, but the outside pass on. After knight c3, what Magnus is so alert. That's why he's a world champion. That's why he's world number one. He's back to world number one now in blitz with 2858. Fisher takes it too. He's never missing it. For Magnus, Blitz is fun. He doesn't want classical anymore. K2 takes an A2, Knight takes A2, Rook D2. Knight C3, Bishop A6. Now the typical Magnus here. Rook to D3. King E4, Rook to D7. Of course, you have to protect the pawn. Bishop B7. You think King and the pawn. A6, all right. With A6, you can now move your rook anywhere you want. I need A4, rook E5. What an exchange payment. The point being, if takes, takes, yes. The king has to keep an eye on the pawn. King, if, if you play F4, for example, and then the king will just go F6, F5, and G4. Because the knight has to keep an eye on this one. So knight c5, bishop c6, pint. King f2, king g8, what a move. King e3, f6. The point, Magnus, is so good. Yes, king g8, sense of danger, no knight e6 check. King f2, king f7, he wants to take that square. E3, G5, right, creating another outside pass on takes, takes. Principle of two weaknesses, outside H, outside A, 4H4, right, takes, takes. How to stop? King F2, King G6, not on F6, I don't step on the square where the knight can check. King G1, King F5. Again, no checks for the knight, maintaining the pin. King h2, king g4, side stepping. f5, rook b2, check. After king g1, h3, here, nepo, resign. Now let's take a look at f6. h2 is coming. And then after king f1, checkmate on h1. That's why he's world number one. That's why he's world champion. That's why he's Magnus Carlsen. Even that slightest of advantage, very minimal, but he fights for it. Yeah? That's an important trait, an important character that you need to have if you want to become a world champ. That fighting ability, even, yeah. Oh my God, that is just Magnus. I mean, how to stop him? He is now on 18 points. Wesley Saw is in second place with 16 and a half. Going into the last day tomorrow, nine more games left. We're hoping that Wesley can catch up. And Magnus is back to world number one in blitz, 2858. Yeah, that's why he doesn't want to defend his world title. It's fun to play rapid in blitz for Magnus. He doesn't want the stress of preparing uh, these crazy lines in classical, yeah. He likes this one because with with rapid and blitz, uh, players tend to make mistakes compared to the classic game, classical games. You can just understand the guy. So that was it. Magnus Carlsen leading after day number four. Wesley not far behind in second place. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for supporting our channel. Charles Smash Chess and Charles Smash Entertainment on Facebook and YouTube. This is Bo Chow. Stay safe and bye bye.